Hola. Here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, who's missing you? Once again, we're asking the question, who's missing you? We will do an extended read on this, but we'll take a deeper... Oh, no, we won't. My bad. Psych! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, not I'm sorry. I apologize. Bad habit. So, keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up. Because you two be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, you can find all of that information down below. And if you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find all of that info down below. And if you would like to uh, donate to the channel in any type of way, you can find that information down below as well. So we have three decks before us. Deck number one, choice number one, is this one. Don't know the names of these decks. Choice number two is this one. And choice number three is this one. So we have choice number one, choice number two, and choice number three. Question is, who is missing you? Count of three, we're gonna take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your deck. Is it gonna be choice number one, choice number two, or choice number three? All right, well, let's get it. What's this card? Ooh, shit, five of swords, uh-oh. All right, so universe, people who chose choice number one. Who's missing them, universe? People who chose choice number one. Ooh, somebody's missing you. Who's missing them, universe? People who chose deck number one. Whoa, look at both of y'all holding the cups to your hearts. What the hell is going on with that? Have the high priestess. Who is missing you? Four of Cups. It's a lot of freaking cups here. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, High Priestess, and the Four of Cups. Who is missing you? People who chose deck number one universe, who's missing them? Page of Pentacles. Oh, it's a lot of cups. Nine of Cups. The Empress. And whew, Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Person who is missing you is somebody that you have not spoken to in quite some time and who's caused you quite a bit of pain. Um, quite a bit of pain. Let's clarify these real quick. Who's missing them, universe? Who is missing them? People who chose deck number one, who's missing them? We have the high priestess. <laughs> Shoot. High Priestess clarifying the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands clarifying the Queen of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles clarifying the High Priestess. We have, ooh, the Emperor in reverse. So we got the Emperor and the Empress out here. The Emperor in reverse clarifying the Four of Cups. We have the Tower clarifying the Page of Pentacles. We have the Hangman clarifying the Nine of Cups. Who's missing them? 
we have the page of swords clarifying the empress and we have the page of pentacles clarifying the three of swords bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles four of pentacles this came back out five of swords and the four of wands with the ace of swords here we have the knight of pentacles now we have two counterparts the king of cups and we also have the nine of pentacles with the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck there are a lot of cups here first of all this person is absolutely in love with you but i feel like this person realizing that they were in love with you is a delayed reaction i don't feel like this person has communicated the way that they felt for you in the past when you all were together i feel as though um there's an element or a sense of you feeling like you love this person more than they loved you and i feel as though this person it wasn't that you love this person more than they loved you it's just this person's priorities were in different places and this person had a lot going on and this person didn't feel worthy of you not of your love but this person didn't feel worthy of you and so i absolutely feel as though this person is um when it comes to love this person is somebody who is very uh emotionally immature keeps their feelings to themselves knows exactly what to do and say in order to keep you there in order to get a rise out of you in order to really manipulate situations this is somebody who is extremely smart. This could be somebody who drinks a lot of teas or coffees or something like that, or goes to like book houses or something. This is a very intelligent person who has a lot of knowledge on many, many different things. And this is also somebody whose love you could feel even though they didn't say it. And so a lot of times their actions and their, their words would not match up. But what you knew to be true, like I feel as though you may not may not have ever heard this person really confess their love for you, but you felt it. And it was because you felt it that you felt safe enough to grow in love with them. And you all have some type of connection, but I feel like this person was really focused on a lot of past issues that may have had to do something with their finances, their career and also their livelihood um, holding on to or maintaining the emperor image. This person was more so like this person suffocated. Nothing in this person's life really works out. Nothing in this person's life really um, blooms or blossoms because this person is so obsessed with becoming the emperor, but obsessed with becoming a controlling emperor, obsessed with becoming an emperor who has money and influence so that they can influence things in their favor, so they can get things to go the way that they wanted it to go. And in truth, this person was struggling with that and it really, really messed with their mental capacities and also their self-worth and their self-value i feel like this person is in more debt than you even know and this person kind of took you off the market without taking you off the market because they knew how sexy you were and how so many different others were smitten with you but this person is almost like they use their charm and their passion to get you to fall in love with them and i did say fall in love with them so that they could keep you like where they wanted you to be while they focused on whatever and it's like they just wanted you to wait for them until they got their shit together and so because this person was it's like 1 Corinthians 1 through 13, you know, uh, when I was a child, I thought like a child, I played like a child, I did childish things. But now that I'm a man, you know, I think like a man, I, you, you adult, right? So it's like this person's childish ways didn't work for them. And I feel like the more that they tried to hold on to the image of the emperor, the more they struggled, the more that they, that kind of was revealed to others and i feel as though this person may have shown a very ugly side to them that you just did not 
understand or recognize and in truth with this nine of cups in her heart chakra really really illuminated here i feel like you were ready to just move forward you didn't care what this person had you didn't care about you know this person being the emperor or anything like that you were very much confident in the road that you were on and the path that you were on and i feel like you could sustain the both of you all but you were trying to love this person in the life and this person was still focused on their past and very defensive and guarded towards moving towards the future no matter what you offered them and so this is somebody that you would have had to move on from and shift on from without them and it hurt you to actually break away from this person because it's almost like you knew if this person released their past and let go of their past and just would follow you and just shift and move on that this person would be led to a future empire but this person is stuck in the past and so you had to make the decision to leave this person in the past because you were missing too many opportunities and too many um gifts from the universe by sitting with this person facing their past trying to love this person into life trying to you know hold on to this person it began to hurt you so you begin to suffer um so yeah so that's who's missing you that is who's missing you this person i should have done an extended read on this because i want to break this down more but so yeah so that's who's missing you right now this person is slowly but surely doing their best to because this person is holding on to you i should say that this person is definitely holding on to you but they're also kind of still defensive and they're also still very capable of causing great pain and so this person thinks about the connection that you all had and thinks about you know the foundation that you all have because there is love here still you guys are very similar it's just this person held back because they were so focused on being this emperor but i feel as though this person is slowly but surely wanting to move towards you and have the confidence to do so to slowly move towards you as this king of cups um while you're single here and and for some of you all you may wish to my throat just closed hold on for some of you all you may be hoping that this person will arrive not really focused on it solely but like there's something within you that still has hope and faith that this person will get their shit together and i feel as though this person is still in a state of flux so it'll just be temporary and if this person comes back in it might cause you more pain yeah because they got to get out of their head. They got to stop facing the past. They got to stop, you know, like being willing to, willing to sacrifice everything just for this empire. This empire is like a fantasy at this point. It's, it's not there. And they're still trying to recapture that, which doesn't make sense. So they're stuck in a cycle of insanity until they move on. Knight of Cups, here we go again, where we started. Until they move on into this new beginning and have wisdom with that. There's not going to be much that happens with this person because this person has, it's like they're lamenting over their past, but they have to release it. So that's who's missing you. So I hope that helped and shed some insight into you all's situation. You can get a personal reading with me. All of that information is in the description box below. You can book a life coaching session with me. I am a certified professional life coach. That information is down below. If you don't want to do nothing else, you ain't got to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. So moving on to number two. Ooh, deck number two. People who chose deck number two. Who's missing it? Whoa. That fell out. Six of pentacles. Let's see if it comes back up. Who's missing it, universe? People who chose deck number two. Who's missing it? who chose that we have the emperor who's the missing in the universe people chose deck number two we have the four of pentacles
we have the Queen of Wands. Who's missing in the universe? Who is missing in the universe? We have uh oh a second person in here. We have the King of Pentacles. The person who's missing you is this emperor. Oh, Lord. There's somebody sneaking up on you, creeping up on you. Got your attention right now. Lord. Who is missing in the universe? Who chose deck number two? We have Ace of Cups. Who is missing in the universe? We have the two of wands. We have the moon card. And we have the four of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the daughter of pentacles. You do not want to be bothered. <laughs> you don't want to be bothered with neither one of these fools. Who is missing them, universe? Who's missing them? We have the five of wands. Who's missing them, universe? Who is missing them? We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. We have the seven of cups in reverse. We have the ace of cups in reverse. Or in upright. So the ace of cups out twice. Two of wands out twice. Oh, Lord. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Knight of Swords. Lord, Lord, Lord. And we have the Devil card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card. So we have the Daughter of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Devil card again. Ooh, Devil card and the Son of Cups. Ooh, somebody hurt you. And strength card, tower card, high priestess, queen of wands again. Okay. The person that misses you, the person that misses you is somebody who this person may have long hair or locks or something like that. This is somebody who was... Um, a magician of sorts. This is somebody who could have been a bit of a player. This is somebody who may have made you jump through hoops and over hurdles in order to be with them. This is somebody who um, held their cards very close to their chest. And it was almost like this person was making you prove your love to them. Um, just kind of out of obsession, just to feel valuable, to feel worthy. Because you are such a catch um and there were so many people that you had and you could have even met this person while you were talking to somebody else you could have met this person where you were casually dating other people and this person knew that you had your pick of the litter and so this person did everything in their power to get you to focus solely on them and i feel as though they played this that like the game went too far you know, and if you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And so this person never offered you anything substantial, never really um, grounded this connection. They just kept having you play all of these games. And so they lost your attention. And you really stepped back into your power and remembered who you were. And you turned your attention away from them. You may have been really smitten with this person's work ethic or maybe with you know, um, this person's status or something that they had or um, something like that. However, I feel like this person made you feel alive and very vibrant, but this person always has so many other things that were taking priority over you, so many other people that were interested in them. Something didn't sit right in your soul with this person. And so you turned your attention away from this person. Now, when you turned your attention away from this person, I feel like there's somebody else who's interested in you, whether you know it or not. And I feel like the person that's interested in you is not telling you fully that they're interested in you. They're like 
slowly but surely. And this could have been somebody that you were interested in in the past. This person is completely different from the other person in that this is a very monogamous person. This is somebody who wants a relationship. This is somebody who has, um, who is very stable, who has money, who has value, who knows how to grow things, who wants to grow things. Um, this is somebody who is extremely immature, somebody who's capable of talking, who's capable of being logical, but has a very huge heart. And I feel like over time, this person might wear you down, the second person, because I really don't feel like you're interested in them fully right now, because it's like, it's almost like this person puts out your fire, but the person from the past lit your fire. And so you are going to have to make a decision. The person who misses you is the person from the past. You are going to have to make a decision. And I said the other person could be from the past. This person misses you. The one who made you play games with you and stuff. You are going to have to make a decision because both of these people are going to be obsessed with you. Both of these people are going to find you extremely sexy. And I feel like you don't you know you want stability and you are going to choose and i i see who you're gonna choose but i don't predict future so um you're gonna have to make a decision but i feel like with this decision you are going to put your foot down and you are going to let it be known you don't want to play her you don't want to play games you know um and i feel like it may happen by way of you just entertaining somebody else. And this person gets a whiff of that and they're like, whoa, hell no. And you pull back from everybody because it just feels like both of these people will begin to obsessively pursue you and it becomes too much. And it's not really anything that you want because you don't want to play games. You can't help that you are who you are. You can't help that everybody finds you sexy, but you don't want to play any games. And there is a bit of confusion that you have to see your way through. But there also is um, an obsessive tie to somebody. I feel like there's great sex between you and somebody else. And I feel like you are bound to the person who lights your fire. But in the end, I feel like for now, you just want to have fun and you just want to get your happy back. And through having fun and getting your happy back, I feel like this person from your past becomes extremely obsessive, but you are extremely hurt and confused. Yeah, very hurt and very confused. And I feel like you you just don't want to play games. You don't want to... Um, you just don't want to entertain anybody that's not taking anything seriously. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting. You got a new beginning coming though. So that's the person who misses you is the person from the past who played too many games, who's coming back around, don't want you to be with nobody else. But you got to shift beyond the obsession, you know, of you all having a good time and this person igniting your fire. Like this person even though they're showing up as the emperor, they're showing up as an emperor who likes to control and manipulate situations to feel valuable, but they never act upon anything. They never do, but you do have a new beginning coming. Somebody who wants to offer you a relationship, but you got to make a decision on what you really want. That turned into something else. I'm glad I didn't do an extended on this one because I'd have been talking about two storylines and that sucks. So that's what I have for you. I hope that it helps and I hope that it sheds some insight into your situation. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, you can find that information down below. And if you like to donate to the channel in any way, all those links are down below as well. You don't want to do nothing because you know I'm lost too. You ain't got it. Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. Reading number three. Last but certainly not least. Who's missing them, universe? Please keep these messages as simple as possible. Who's missing the people who chose reading number three? Who's missing them, universe? We have... Four of Pentacles. Who's missing them, universe? Too many. 
four of cups, two fours on the board. Who's missing in me, right? People who chose me, number three. Five of pentacles. Who's missing them, universe? The empress. Whoa. Justice card and the hangman. This is going to be easy. Who's missing them, universe? The fool card. One more. And... The temperance. If you are not divorced, take your ass on. If you don't have somebody from the past that you separated from or divorced from, take your ass on. This ain't the reading for you. Who misses them, universe? Judgment, clarifying the four of pentacles. Ten of swords, clarifying the four of cups. The uh, Magician in Reverse clarifying the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles in Reverse clarifying the Empress. Wow. Who's missing in the universe? The Knight of Cups clarifying Justice. The Eight of Pentacles in Reverse clarifying the Hangman. The Five of Swords in Reverse, or the Five of Swords clarifying the Fool card. One more. Who's missing? Them? And the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. So we have this. Huh, we got the Emperor and the Empress out here. Um, Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Moon card, the Seven of Swords, the Ten. Oh my God. Ten of Cups, the Empress for the second time, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles, Star Card. Um, okay, person who's missing you is somebody that you separated from or got divorced from. This is somebody who was, this is, the situation ended because this person didn't give you attention, time. They didn't reciprocate the love that you had for them and it frustrated you um, that they weren't doing it because you were giving it all to them. This might've been somebody that you helped grow a business or you helped grow their life or you helped elevate them into the emperor status. This could definitely be somebody that you have children with or a child with at least. Um, but this is somebody that you put your life on a back burner for in order to um, stimulate their growth, in order to help them grow and evolve. Like you help this person, this is feeling like a very masculine person, so you help this person really step into their masculinity, right? And you help them become a provider. You and, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you had to actually build a business with them, but you nurtured them. You took care of the home while they were, you know, doing whatever they needed to do. And this person, I feel like, became very successful and they forgot about you. And they forgot about all the shit you did for them. And they forgot about all the love that you showed them. They they took all of those things for granted when it was when it was time for you to start focusing on yourself. There was nobody there to do it. And so you've rebuilt your life since. You have um, done all of these beautiful, wonderful things on your own. You've grown, you developed, you unfolded. Some of you all have started your own business and you've done all of that with little to no help. And your person and you, I feel like this ended very badly. And your person has taken the time to think about things and they still think about things. And they think about how they prioritize work and becoming the emperor over you. And they think about how they were putting efforts into the wrong thing. And so they think about their mistakes and how they should have fought for you not to leave. I am really, really, I hate to say this, but, and I don't know their full story, but Annette, if you're listening, whoa. Um, so yeah, so I feel as though this is somebody who feels like they should have fought for you, but you are bringing yourself into balance now. And this person doesn't, like they want to charm you, but they know what they've done in the past. And so this person is really doing their best to like soften up. This is somebody who may have been a hardcore dick, like never wanted to help anybody, never wanted to like help the homeless or something. But this is somebody who's enjoying life a lot more. Like they've gotten to a point in their life where they understand you can have 
everything in the world. But if you don't have somebody to share it with that you truly love, you don't have anything. And so this is somebody who realizes that their happiness was with you, but their rigidness really messed that up and they miss you. Yep. They miss you. They miss you dearly. So, so that was easy. Thank God. So that's what I have for you. I hope that this helped and I hope that it shed some insight into your situation. You guys can get a personal reading with me uh, from the link down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, you can find that down below. If you want to donate to the channel, find all those links down below as well. And if you don't want to do anything else, just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.